Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you all doing today? Today we're working on a coin op gas dryer. So basically, I've already checked the thermal fuse behind here. And that thermal fuse back there was good. So the next thing I'm going to do is take it apart and check some components. For instance, the coils. These are the gas valve coils. Then I will also check the flame sensor. Then I will also check the igniter, my meter. Okay, so first thing we need to do is this has a keyed lock mechanism here. So I have the key and I was able to take that off, no problem. And the next thing I needed to do was remove the holding bolt and washer that hold the top console on right down there. And the next thing I will do is pop the top off and then take the front panel off and so we can access the heating coils and the igniter. Okay, so for all you experienced technicians who think that I'm giving away trade secrets, secrets that are uh, causing you competition and you perhaps losing money, my theory is that there are plenty of customers to go around. And so, You'll excuse me by sharing some things to the average person. Um, that would be good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of checks on this just to make sure. Even though this flame sensor was had fallen off and luckily had not shorted, we're just going to do a couple of checks with the meter. So we basically set our meter on continuity. Now this meter is pretty cool because it has the it has the tone um, when the continuity is connected. So when we connect the two wires, we have the tone. These come in handy, particularly if you don't if you're trying to watch two different things have to watch the meter you can just listen for it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the check for continuity at the flame sensor make sure your um, dryer is unplugged and so basically we're looking for continuity between these two wires here That would indicate that the flame sensor is good. And we actually do not have continuity. Now I may have a bad connection here, so let me grab a better part of that. Okay, so we have continuity on the flame sensor. So that flame sensor is still good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is check the, the coils. And so basically we're looking for continuity here as well. Continuity between these two terminals and continuity in here on these three terminals. So if we go across here, we may not get a direct uh, tone on this one, so we're going to have to look and see what we have. Now this one here is primarily indicating a bad coil because we don't have any reading on the meter. Okay, 
yes, we do have a reading on the meter. It's going to be twelve hundred. So theoretically, that coil is good. If it's open, though, we have to replace it. So we go from the middle terminal to the side terminal and see what we get. So here we get a reading. So we do have a reading here. We get 1360. We have a reader reading here. And on the other two terminals, 1900. And across the two outer terminals, we get what, 55. So that indicates that these uh, gas valve coils are good. disconnected this line here. Now, the way to test this is you can also test for voltage here. I don't normally do that. Uh, you would test for voltage here on these two terminals. As you turn the machine on, there should be voltage coming out of there. If there is not, could be a problem with your flame sensor. So basically, we're looking for continuity across here. I've already done that with meter, we had continuity, so that means that that igniter is good. Or theoretically should be good. Now if we look up in here, we see a little bit of lint built up inside there. We want to clean that out. Lint built up is a major problem with dryers. Probably most of the dryer repairs I go to are, li are linked to lint built up or flow, impaired flow. And then, once again, the impaired flow could be the fact that the vent line has a kink in it and or there's not enough flow in the room. There's no vents to allow the air to flow in the room. So that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me at appliancesworks at yahoo.com 707-445-1591 Pacific Time, 9 to 5. And uh, I also have a How to Make Money in the Appliance Repair Business course online it involves a year in co a year of coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos and so if you're interested in that you can contact me as well if this video helped you please send me a donation it's bills recycling enterprises p.o box 7021 eureka california 95502 thank you